Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use the PAC CLI. Let's answer a few basic questions and look at a demo of how to use PAC for containerizing your applications. PAC is an implementation of the Cloud Native Build Packs platform specification. It presents a means for you to generate immutable artifacts from your application source code. PAC CLI makes use of build packs in order to build these OCI compliant images that you can then deploy to any container runtime such as Docker. PAC has a very simple installation process. Um, homebrew tabs are available if you're on Mac. Linux based users can take advantage of a PPA that's available. There's also the options for uh, building from source or downloading and using the binaries. Let's first clone a repo that we would like to use as the source for the demo. Here, some of the sample repos meant for use with the PAC CLI are being cloned. CD into the top level directory of the project that needs to be built and then make use of the PAC command to create an image from the source as follows. Type PAC build then provide the name of a builder. The builder is a base image along with all of the meta information that is required to build apps. This is largely an implementation detail uh, included in the spec for cloud native build packs. Now the builder also helps specify some build time environments that are used by the pack CLI when going through the life cycle of the build process. The last argument that's part of the build command is the name of the container to be created. As you can observe from the output on the terminal, there are a few distinct phases that the build process has. The first one is the detect phase. Here, pack chooses the right build packs to be used and produces what is known as a build plan internally. Next, the analyze phase kicks in, which typically recycles metadata from previous images or caches. And then we go on to the build phase during which PAC uses the build packs to construct the image from the source. Finally, when the build phase is completed successfully, the image is created, the layers cached and the export phase takes over. Now an image has been successfully built. Now just like any other Docker images that you're used to, this can be deployed locally to a Docker runtime or any other container runtime. Here we'll use the docker run command to create a new runtime for this container. In this example, we specify the ports to which the container will attach itself. Once the container is running, we can then access the app via a browser. And this is an example of a local deployment workflow for a container image that is built using the PAC CLI. Next, let's attempt to move the whole build and deploy process to a more cloud native flavor, um, which translates to building an image from source, publishing it to a hosted container registry and deploying it from the registry to a remote staging instance. In this case, it's a Kubernetes instance that is running remotely and we'll deploy using Cloud Foundry. We'll make use of the same app and source code for this part of the demo. We will use the pack build command once again, but with an additional switch. As a prerequisite though, make sure that you're logged into your uh, remote OCA compliant container registry. In this case, we make use of uh, Docker Hub. Instead of specifying just a name for the image, we will also include the repository prefix of the Docker Hub along with the image name. We will use the publish flag, which will indicate that the image created will be published to the Docker Hub registry. The build process once again goes through the same four phases of detect, analyze, build and execute. Finally, an image is available on Docker Hub. Next, we will deploy this image to a remote staging server running a Kubernetes cluster. And like I mentioned, we'll be making use of Cloud Foundry. Now, Cloud Foundry allows container images to be deployed to Kubernetes and uses a feature flag to indicate this. In this case, the infrastructure is already set up with a CF for Kates installation. Double check whether image deployments are enabled using the CF feature flags command. The entry against Diego underscore Docker indicates if this feature is enabled or not. Now deploy the app using the familiar CF push command. Specify the app name and add a Docker image flag and include the name of the image 
along with the registry prefix. This will now kick off the app deployment and the app gets deployed to the Kubernetes cluster. Copy the route that is generated, paste it into a browser and you can have access to this app. This is now the same app that is being run on a Kubernetes based infrastructure on the cloud. Buildpacks.io has all the information that you need to learn about the PAX CLI. You can join the community at slack.buildpacks.io and participate in all the discussions or hop on to github.com slash buildpacks to get access to the source and discuss anything around this open source project. Thank you for watching 